You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by TryTreats.com for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out another Try Treats box. I know I've inundated you with these videos one a week, but this one is, well, one more to go after this. I'm not sure what the number four is on there, by the way. Let's just see. And thanks to them for sending this box and all the other boxes. So let's see what country or region this one is from. And you can tell now this one is jam-packed. So let's see. Get this out of here. All right, here we go. The Great Reveal. Aha. This is from South Korea, Yaksam Temple, South Korea. This month's treats come to you from South Korea. South Korea is a fascinating country known for its beautiful hill countryside as well as the development of technology and cities such as Seoul, the nation's capital and the city with the fastest internet in the world. Well, that would be cool. During the period from 1950s to the present, Korea rose from being one of the world's poorest countries to having the 11th largest economy in the world. Korea's largest snack companies were formed during this period, and in the process, they developed an array of amazing snacks, snacks such as Choco Pies, an iconic snack that is beloved, beloved across Asia, and Papero, a snack which inspired a national holiday, Papero Day, where Papero is gifted to loved ones. Both of these snacks are in your box. Ooh, cool. As well as many other gems we look forward to you discovering. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the treats. All right, I'm not going to let you see this right away, but I will do this so you can see. Look at that. So, yeah, when you get big puffy packages, it really puffs up the box. All right, so it looks like we're jam-packed. I will come back then and organize them based on their list and try them one by one. All right, here we go. Snack number one. These are the Cancho Choco Biscuit by Lotte. Cancho chocolate biscuits are bite-sized, crunchy biscuits filled with a chocolate filling. They come in cute packaging with adorable-looking, love-struck mascots named Canny and Choni. Or Canny and Chono, or Choni. Chani, I don't know, Canny and Chani. Cancho, Chaco, Ka, so that's probably the first person, the first character, Canny and then Choni. That's my guess. But then again, I don't read this language very well, so... Here we go. Let's see what they are. I don't read it all. Actually, I translate everything. I get on all the packaging I get from... Oh, wait. Here we go. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say, let me get into this bag so I can eat something today. Let's get a little bowl here. I think this will deserve a little bowl. I'll just put a few out. Now, if I was doing this individually, I'd probably put them all out and then kind of show you them. But each one and each little picture on them. Okay, so there is your chocolate filling. As you can tell, crispy, chocolatey, and super tasty. It's a mild chocolate, but why not have one more? All right, there you go. Okay, let's do this. I think it's my new system. Just put it all back in the box. Papero. White cookie papero. Now, I don't think I've had this particular flavor from them, but I'm pretty sure I've had these white chocolate. Almost looks like Oreo cookies there, doesn't it? Let's see. What do they say? White cookie paperos are biscuit sticks dipped in a thick layer of cookies and cream coating. White chocolate and cookie crunch. It's so popular in Korea, it has a national holiday in Korea called Papero Day, held on November 11th. There's the back of the box. What do you think? Has anybody celebrated that? Anybody watching this video right now celebrate that day? Usually in a bag. Let's open them up. Okay. Wow, look at that. Don't they look interesting? Cool. Almost speckled. That is a thick coating. Mmm. -hmm. Gotta love cookies and cream. All right. Next one is the Choco Pie. Almost like a moon pie, I guess. Now they give you four of them, which is awesome. So I'm gonna leave three there. 
Choco Pies by Orion are biscuits layered with chocolate and marshmallow. The chocolate coating of Choco Pies surrounds the inner layer of the marshmallow. Fun tip, some people prefer to freeze the Choco Pie before eating them. I've heard that. Since 1974, when it says it right there. And that's really it, that's all that's on the packaging. I wonder if these came in another box or another packaging with more information. Like nutrition and all that. There it is, look at that. Can we break, oh look at how it broke. There, I was able to peel it somewhat. And there's what the inside looks like. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's very much like a moon pie kind of pie. In fact, very similar flavor to that. Mm, that one's good. All right. Next one is a candy. This is sweet plum candy. Hold on, I brought coffee in again today. It goes perfect with that. All right, the sweet plum candy is a hard round candy by famed Korean confectionery group Haitai. This treat has one of the most unique flavors of any candies we've encountered. It tastes like a plum. Well, that's what they look like. So they'll have a little strip on them, I guess. Nutritional information. Oh, come on, I gotta clean up better around here. I noticed it on my fingers, too. All right, so here we go. Let's see, nutritional facts. Plum candy. I almost feel like they're each individually wrapped, but I can't 100% tell. Yes, they are. Let's put one here. Look at that. That's pearlescent almost, like a gem. Here we go. I'm going to have to bite it to get the taste right away and the flavor, but it's pretty neat. Very, very strong plum flavor, that is. You don't need to bite it to get that. Ooh, those are good. All right. I'll save that off to the side. Keep that in my box. The next one is Choco Boy. Now I've had something similar to this. Wow, there's, there's little scraps everywhere. It must have been on my uh, table with that Choco pie. All right, here we go. Have fun with your friend Choco Boy. Twin Pack by Oreo. Choco Boys are crunchy chocolate tip biscuits, tipped biscuits in the form of a mushroom. Chocolate Boy Biscuits also contain DHA, omega-3 fatty acid, serving a critical component of brain and nerve cell membranes. Where am I seeing? Ah, here it is. Open. I'm going to have to get rid of my hard candy. Okay, that's off to the side now. Very tasty plum candy, that is. What's the twin pack? What does that mean? That's one pack in there. Twin pack. I have no idea. Here's what they look like. We've had these before. Different brands though. And they are tasty. It's a very crispy biscuit. With a little morsel of chocolate so it's a good combination. Mm. I believe I even made some of these similar to this. There's a maker kit where you can make them. All right. The next one is the onion chips. Or Orion chips, sorry, not onion. Ocarto by Orion. Ocarto by Orion are potato chips in the form of square tubes. Similar to french fries. They are crunchy in texture and filled with flavor. Orion recommends eating them with ranch, peanut butter, cheese sauce, salsa, or honey. This is the cream cheese flavor. I don't know if I'd want to eat these with peanut butter, but I see what they're saying. It's probably like a natural flavor. Look at that. Let's see. Enjoy a deliciously light and crispy potato snack in a pasta shaped. Pair it with your favorite dipping sauce for a tasty adventure. You can only enjoy it with ranch, cheese sauce, peanut butter, salsa, honey, etc. Did you get a good look at the bag? He looks happy and ready to be eaten. His potato snack, that is. Okay, the 
It does not want to pull apart easily. There's a lot of air pressure in there, so I will have to break the seal. I think veggies, there's like a veggie snack or a veggie square one that here in the USA that I've been eating with the three different colors. I'd have to put, I'll put that in the description. I'll grab a bag. But they're much, these are bigger, twice the size of those. Veggie straws, are they called? Mmm. Cream cheese. Cream and cheese. Those are good. Super airy. Look at the size. Yeah, I think those are like twice the size as the veggie straws. But very similar bite and tasty. All right. Next is waffles. Let's put that up there. Waffles. Let's see. It says waffle mate by Lotte. Waffle Mate, or Mate by Lotte, its name says it's a snack in the form of honey-flavored waffle biscuits. There are waffles that are ready to eat out of the bag. They do great with a cup of milk or coffee. Good. Okay, there's where you open it. Nice little pot of honey there and there. Here is the nutritional information, I believe. Okay. Oh, there's more. Easier to read. Waffle Mate, or Mate, or Mate. I don't know. This is a true two-pack, I'm like that Choco Boy. Mmm, like a Pizzeo here. Okay, looks to be a little crispier than that, though. Mmm, good flavor. I'm almost tasting more like a buttery flavor. Be my soulmate, be my waffle mate. So it's Waffle Mate by Lotte. Mmm. All right, those are really good. This would definitely... My coffee here, my coffee. Make a good combination. When I eat my pizzeos too, sometimes I'll put butter on the top. So that would be an added bonus there. All right, one more item. This one here scares me just a little. Toasted seaweed. I'm not a huge fan of seaweed. I don't know about you out there. Roasted seaweed, or otherwise known as laver, is a traditional Korean snack made from seaweed, which is seasoned and toasted to perfection. Quenchy in texture and savory in taste. Would you consider it like a kale, like a crispy kale? I've had kale that's been made into kale chips. I bet you it's that kind of consistency. Here we go. I just, I'm just anticipating the smell of seaweed for whatever reason. I don't know if you do that when you think seaweed. Yep, I've actually had these before. And they were an oil, which I think has a coating on this. Here we go. And I, I thought they were okay. Now, isn't that an interesting sound? <laughs> yep, that's the taste that I think of when I... Taste seaweed. Would I eat another one? Yeah, I would eat another one. But I think I would kind of fold it up like that. Easier to kind of get in there. Here we go. Definitely a very unique flavor on that. I don't think I would eat much more. Not my favorite snack. All right, so there you go. That is the next one. There is one more to go. Thanks to the box from South Korea. Ooh, that was my hard candy stuck. To, oh, it just cracked on the floor. Can you believe it? It was on there and rolled right off. And there is everything, so if you want to read it. I think I forgot to do that in the last video. And thanks for watching. If you want to see more snack tasting videos and the way I do them, a little bit different probably than most channels, then look in that description. I'll have a playlist there. Or as always, you could search Lucky Penny Shop. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.